Today I'm going to go through the process of setting up AI Mesh on two of my ASUS RTAC 86U router. The AI Mesh software is proprietary to ASUS and what it does is that it connects multiple compatible ASUS routers that uh, has the AI Mesh compatibility and it would join and make a mesh network where you can cover your entire house with wireless signal. So let's get started. I have two routers, two RTAC86U routers here. I have my main router, which is 172.16.101, and I have a brand new router, which is 192.168.50.1. This one would be the node, and my primary router would be the main router. So let's get started. First of all, both of them are running ASUS Merlin firmware, 386.7 underscore two, as you can see right here. It's the same version on my main router, and as you can see, it has two SSIDs that's running on my main router. The node router is currently doesn't have any configuration, just has one client, which is my laptop, which is actually connected to the Ethernet. So let's get started. First of all, uh, you would go down to administration and we would go to select the operation mode on the node router. So this would be our node. So we select AI mesh node. What is going to happen, it's going to reset the router to a factory reset and make it available to be seen by our primary router. So we will select the save option here. It would say, I want to set this device uh, as an AI mesh node. Press next button to reset this node and place it in AI mode standby near your router. Currently, we're going to be connecting this node router via Ethernet to my main router upstairs, and then we're gonna switch it out to uh, use the Wi-Fi 5G connection. So right now it's resetting it and rebooting the node router. I have a continuous ping here running so that I can see when it becomes available to try to reconnect. Once it comes back up, it's going to go in a standby mode or a mode where it would be discoverable by the main router. So we're going to just give it a minute here for it to reboot itself, reset itself, and enter the standby mode. Okay, so it just became available. So it says here you, it's, you can add AI mesh node form a wireless mesh so it's currently ready now as you can see I'm getting response from it so I'm going to go to my master router and what I'm going to do is select add mesh AI mesh node so as you can see it found it here so I would just uh, select it as you can see it's connected by uh, Ethernet cable and we do you want to add this node to your EIMS system? We're gonna say yes. So it's gonna go through the process of connecting to it and it's gonna run the configuration to actually add it to the AI mesh network. It would just take maybe around uh, 30 seconds to do the connection. With the AI mesh uh, configuration, it makes it seamless uh, that when you uh, have any dead spots within your home or any area, so let's say you might have three stories, um, three floors, you would have a your main router on the middle floor and on each floor, the top floor and the basement, you would have a AI mesh node which would enable full cover Wi-Fi coverage of your entire home 
your mobile device or any device within the home would actually roam seamlessly between each of the nodes. And the beauty of uh, setting up AI mesh network is that the main router, once you make any configuration changes, it actually gets populated to all the different nodes, including the main router. And another feature with AI mesh is that, for example, if one of the node actually goes offline, it would actually uh, reconnect to the one that is uh, currently connected so you, you would not recognize any drop so as you can see here it was successfully added okay and we click finish and as you can see on the main router here we have it connected here so i would just wait for it uh, give it a minute so that it can sync up as you can see it says disconnected but it's going to uh, sync up in a while and give you a green connection here in a minute. So while we wait for that uh, sync to happen, um, as you can see, the sync just get connected. So it says great. So that means it's connected right now. What I'm going to do is I am going to change the name so that I can know where it is. So I would put it in the basement. You can select different areas it's just a matter of knowing which um, node is actually connected where okay so let's go through a few simple configuration here as you can see it would show all the different clans that is currently connected to this particular node and what we selected here currently there is no clans connected to it so I am going to Go to network network would show you that it's actually connected to the ethernet connection this particular node and it gives you some additional information the transfer rate um, the receiving rate so it would give you some basic information on the interfaces what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to management and since this device or this node will be moved to the basement where there is no uh, Ethernet connection, I am going to change the backhaul connection priority. Right now it's set to auto, meaning that it would select either one of these, whether it's the 1 gig 1 connection or the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi first. So I'm going to switch it to 5G Wi-Fi. And you just give it a minute here so that it can uh, sync up what this what in this enables is that it would only use one of the 5G Wi-Fi connection to be connected to the main router um, while it uses the 2.4 and the other 5G radio for connecting clients. Um, I would come back to these settings here a little bit more. So right now um, it's doing its sync right now. So I'm just waiting for it to actually sync up. Okay, as you can see, it gets a great signal. So right now it is connected via the Wi-Fi. As you can see here, it uses the 5G. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and get a device to connect to it so that we can see if it's actually functioning or not. I am actually using my iPhone, so hopefully I just switched off my uh, iPhone and switch it back on. And as you can see, as I'm sitting very close to the, the node, it actually did do a connection right here. So as you can see, it's actually connected right here. And you can verify that it's connected via the wireless. Okay, um, that's the connection if you would like to remove a node from the AI mesh you would go to management and if you go right down to the bottom here you would see it says remove node so you can do specific um, action on this particular node you can enable radio you can configure the USB application 
you can switch control you can optimize the connection you can also reboot this particular node in the AI mesh while maintaining the primary router AI mesh router and you can remove the node so if you no longer need this particular node I would just click on remove node here it would give you a prompt this node will be reset to its factory default settings and removed from your AIMS system. If you want to continue, click OK or cancel. So we're going to remove it right now and automatically the device that was connected would actually reconnect to the main router right here. That's all. Uh, thank you for watching this short video. If you have any comments, don't be afraid to leave it. A comment in the section below and like and subscribe thank you very much